Hey, what is going on guys? This is iReviews. In this video, I will show you the part 3 of the top 10 CD tweaks compatible with iOS 8.3. The first tweak for this video is called Bigify. What this tweak does is that it allows you to change the size, also the transparency of the icons on your springboard. Now you can do all that simply by going to your settings, go to Bigify. Here you can rotate your icons, set the transparency, and also change the size, you can make them smaller or bigger. You can also hide the icon label, flip badges, and also you can enable or disable effect dock. And then here you have a respring button, you will need to respring your device for all the changes to take effect. Next up is a tweak called Grid Switcher. This tweak will change the layout of your app switcher to a 2x2, 3x3 or a 4x4 grid layout. If you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button, then here you can change the layout. You have 2x2, 3x3 or 4x4. Then lower here, you can also enable the icons if you want the icons of the apps to show on the app switcher. You can scale them, set the offset from the bottom or even enable a drop shadow. You can also enable or disable the labels for the icons right here. The next tweak for this video is called Dock Shift. This tweak allows you to customize the background of your dock. As you can see right here, I have a transparent background on the dock. And if you go to the settings of this tweak, here you have an enable button. And here you can change the background of the dock. You have different styles right here. You can choose any of these styles. And if you go back, you have the landscape style. You can also choose a different background for the landscape mode and a different one for the portrait mode. And if you go back, then you can enable hide dots and also shift page dots down. The next tweak is called Aurea LS. This tweak will add some awesome clock widgets on the lock screen of your device. You can see right here the lock screen looks really nice and clean. You have these awesome clock widgets and you can also change them simply by going to your settings, going to Aurea LS and here you have clock face settings. If you go here, you have clock type, you have text, digital and analog. And if you go back, you can show AM, PM on digital, then show the date on digital. And you can also change the fonts right here. And if you want to reset all the settings, just hit this button right here and it will reset all the settings to their default. Next up is badge customizer. This tweak will allow you to customize the badges of your iOS 8.3 device. As you can see right here, we have a purple badge and it's bigger and you can do all these customizations by going to your settings, go to badge customizer, enable it right here, then here you have the color. You can choose a color or you can pick here a default color and lower here you can change the size of the badge and then here you have the position. If you want to change the position of the badge, you can do it right here. Next up is icon renamer. This tweak allows you to rename any of your apps simply by holding the icon just hold one of the icons then just tap on it and now here you can see you can enter any name you want for that icon now if you go to the settings of this tweak all you have here is an enable button to require double tap to rename an icon the next tweak for this video it's called cc loader this tweak allows you to customize the control center of your device as you can see right here if you go to the settings of this tweak you will be able to rearrange all the sections of the control center you can also disable any of them or you can enable here dynamic media controls which means that it will show the media controls on your control center only when you're playing music and when you're not playing anything on your device it will remove them and you won't have them on your control center next up is a tweak called elm poem what this tweak does is that when you take a screenshot on your device it will show this pop-up and will ask you what you want to do with that screenshot. You can save it to your photo library, copy it to the clipboard, upload it, or you can even share it on your social media. Now, if you go to the settings of this tweak here, you have an enable button, then you have options. If you go here, you have screenshot action. You can choose what you want to do when you take a screenshot. Or lower here, you can always copy the clipboard, always save the photos, or always upload it. You can also set a custom album to save your screenshots and you can name that album right here. Then lower here you can enable screen flashes, also screenshot sound, and also you can hide the status bar on your screenshots. Next up is dock color. 
This tweak allows you to change the background color of your dock. As you can see right here, the dock of my device has a blue background and you can change the color by simply going to your settings, enable this tweak right here, then here you have color. You can pick a color right here and you can set the transparency of that color with the slider right here. After you set the transparency, you just go back and here you can set the alpha of the color and then you will have a new background on your dock. The next tweak is called clear folders. This is a simple tweak. All it does is that it will remove the background from the folders and now you will have just a clear, nice looking folder. It doesn't have any options to configure. You can download it for free. So this is the part 3 of the top 10 city tweaks compatible with iOS 8.3. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.